Hello game fans! Now, Another World, also known as Out of This World, uh, is over 20 years old and it has recently been released on Xbox One. Now, this update has smoother, upscaled graphics and an all new remastered sound effects and music package. Now, the gameplay is unforgiving and one wrong move will either see you impaled on a spike or reduced to a skinless skeleton or simply just sort of crumbling to little pieces. Uh, but, is Another World a relic of gaming history that should be left in the past? Or is it a subtle reminder that games don't have to be complicated to tell a good story? Well, check out my review of Another World. Fans of the original will enjoy this nostalgic trip back to when games simply dropped you into a situation and said, deal with it. You won't find any tutorial levels, button prompts or even a GUI to tell you how many shots you have left. You can jump, kick, shoot and press. And using those, you need to survive on an alien planet that wants you either dead or in prison. The story follows a Ferrari driving professor who picks the wrong night to test his particle accelerator. A lightning strike zaps him and half of his machine to another world, with death hiding behind every rock. Back in the 90s, I remember the initial cutscene being something of awe-inspiring beauty. It was edited like a movie and the use of simple light and shadow just felt like it was pushing the boundaries of gaming. The graphics, in fact, were one of the main reasons why I got deluxe paint and deluxe animation in the hope that I too could create something so cinematic using such a limited colour palette. Anyway, even after the cutscene drops you in a tentacle filled pond you are instantly confronted with killer worms and an alien mountain lion that chases you across the landscape. The game uses trial and error in order to create epic mook style moments that when done correctly give you this really great feeling of satisfaction. The lack of a save system can be frustrating and some of the puzzles will drive you to read the odd walkthrough. I found myself replaying the same cutscene so many times that I would curse at the TV, but ultimately it's not that long and once you know what you're doing you'll probably go from start to finish within an hour. However it's the trial and error that, that requires the legwork. The game really feels like a mini movie, from the claustrophobic underwater scenes to the nail biting crawl in its finale. Another world oozes nostalgia whilst being a lot of fun to play. I picked it up for around £3 or $5 which was perfectly fine with me, I had such a good time with this title that it was well worth the money. Yes it has its flaws such as temperamental controls, insta death and lack of a save system but it's all over with so quickly that these issues won't be bothering you for very long. Another world also gives out achievements like they're going out of fashion. You'll soon find yourself 900 gamer points richer after one run through. A quick google of the secret achievement and you will get the full compliment with a few minutes later. If you remember this game, go back, go and complete it. If you don't know it, then give it a go as this is considered epic for its time. And it will go down in gaming history as one of the first truly movie style games to hit home computers. I would definitely recommend this game and if you can pick it up for £3 or $5 then go for it. Finish him.